Hey guys, welcome back to my studio for another day of Happy Arting with Mary. I hope you all are doing well. Um, I was not here with you yesterday because I made the mistake of taking my allergy medicine that I usually take in the evening. I forgot to take it the night before, so I took it yesterday afternoon. Um, and then I slept most of the afternoon. So apparently, that medicine makes me tired. <laughs> so. I would not have been making any sense yesterday if I had been here, so I'm here today. Um, so I'm back in the studio and I've found that I'm not really getting projects done. Um, I have had to turn the TV off today so that I know the basics. I watched the, the update at 11 or 12 o'clock, whenever it was, um, and then I had to turn it off because I find myself like hurricane season where I'm just sitting there and watching the TV. So I'm in the studio and my rule is when I'm in the studio, I have to just be doing something, even if it's doodling on my under paper or, or whatever. So in the, the past couple of days, I have been taking some time to clean stuff out, move stuff around. Um, it's a nice opportunity to get some projects done since my kiddo doesn't have any of his after school activities. Um, fortunately, we homeschool, so this isn't really much of a change in schedule during the day for us, but his after school stuff has changed. So, um, so, but I've had a little bit of extra time just because I haven't had to drive home anymore. So going through some of the boxes that I had, I found, remember these old chipboard letters that we used to use a lot for scrapbooking? Um, and these are not really ugly. But we all have the really ugly ones that are ugly. <laughs> they, they weren't in the 90s, but they are now. So um, I decided I wanted to recolor them because um, I think I might actually use them then. So I grabbed these because they were the first ones I found. And I've grabbed my Dina Wakely Media Gloss Sprays. I've had these for a while. Those of you who follow me know that I got asked by Dina and Ranger to do an artist spotlight project for Creativation this year. So I was actually lucky enough to get these sprays back in November. Um, so I've been able to play with them since then, but I haven't wanted to do anything on camera because until the past couple of weeks, you guys haven't been able to buy them. And I think it's just mean to show you what I have that you don't have. So now that you too can get them, um, they're available several different um, websites. I don't know if any of your local shops have them. Um, if they do, please shop local. Unfortunately, my little shop that I went to in St. Pete closed at the end of last year. So I didn't have the opportunity to shop local. Um, and of course these were given to me by Ranger. So, um, But I'm just gonna use the sprays and I wanna go ahead and, and recolor these thinking, well, Maybe I'll use them in the future. Now in my brain, I'm thinking that a lot of my art journal pages tend to be teals, blues, and greens. So if I want these letters to stand out, I should go the opposite way and use my pinks and my purples and maybe some yellow. So that's where I'm gonna go ahead and start. So if you haven't seen these yet, oh gosh, look, all my sprays covered with spray. What a surprise. Yeah, here's a surprise. My, my spray box is also covered with spray. Um, and just so you know, if you get it on your phone, um, not that I would ever do that, but if you do, go ahead and use a little bit of rubbing alcohol and it'll take it off. Um, so obviously I don't clean my sprays because I don't care if they have spray on them. So when you first pull these out, if they've been sitting for a little while, you'll notice at the bottom they have a little bit of a whitish collection. So you just need to shake them to get rid of that. I like to kind of go in a circle because I feel like the ball that's in there will go ahead and mix up that white stuff. Um, and, and I'll just mix it in with the pigment so then you'll get a nice pretty color. Um, oh, I didn't do a good job of cleaning this one. So for a while what I was doing was when I was done using these, I would actually stick the, pull the sprayer out and put it in clear water and clean it out. But Dina had said that you could just wipe off the end with a baby wipe when you're done. So that's what I've been doing. Now this one, I 
apparently I didn't do. So we'll see how it sprays. Oh, still good. So I'm just going to go ahead and give these a good soak. And I'm going to move around because I want them different colors. Um, and I can see it's beating up a little bit because these are a glossy cardstock. But I'm just going to keep going. I may have to do more than one coat to get them fully done. But even just the little paint, paint splatters on top, I'm liking. And like I said, these weren't really ugly. Um, I need to dig through and find some of my uglier ones because I know I have them. Because we know that we don't get rid of anything. Yeah, this one. See, I didn't clean this one either. I'm just showing you examples of what not to do. So let's see. All right, I'm going to have to clean that one. All right, there we go. Look, I cleaned this one. And I'm going over where the pink was. Those two colors will just mix together. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit this with the dryer real quick um, just because I want to move faster. So you don't need to watch me dry. I'll be right back when the dry. All right, so I dried them and now I'm going to come back um, and I think I'm going to add a little bit of yellow just to add to some brightness. Those, those three pinks were kind of close together. Um, but already I kind of like how they look. I think they'll look really cool on a painted page. So I'm just going to add a little bit. Of, I noticed this up here didn't really get a lot. So I'm just going to add little spots of it here and there. I kind of like how it's splattering now on top. So when I do this, I usually always keep um, something underneath that I want to use. So for example, I just have a couple sheets of deli paper under there right now because you never want to waste spray. If you put it on a craft mat and then you use a baby wipe to clean it up, well, you could do like I do and dry the baby wipe and, and cut it up because, I mean, look, wouldn't that be pretty with some more color on it? Um, but if I just use it use the deli paper like this. Look, I already got some cool little spots. Um, and I'll just keep using this so that I can add some more to it. Ooh, in fact, let's go ahead and add more now. Why? Because we're here. So let's grab the sprays back again. I had already put them away. Um, and I just want to add some more color to this. Oh, I might grab a stencil. My favorite stencil right now. I always like the smaller one, um, but when Dina started coming out with these bigger stencils, this is my favorite. I use it a lot. So if you follow my pages, you will see it over and over and over again. So I like to do this sometimes just so that I have some more collage. Oh, look at that pretty color. Hold on, I need to put that on something. What do I have handy? I must have something. Something. Anything. Alright, white sheet of paper. I should have a white sheet of paper somewhere. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. That makes me happy. Look at that. That's good just the way it is. Oh, and look, I made a little smush. So, let's just try this real quick. Sorry. At least it's not a super loud dryer. doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to be able to add maybe some cheddar over top of that.
Yeah, maybe a little too much. Uh, let's see. The one color in all my other sprays that I never really use or buy was white. Um, so when I got this white one, I was like, ah, I like it. It's one of my first white sprays that I can say I like. I'm really, I think I need to go back to my old cleaning method. You know, the, the part of the problem is probably Dina uses her sprays every single day and I don't. So I will find my little, uh, trick that I like to use sometimes. So this is by no way an endorsed method of cleaning your sprayers, but it's what I do. So I just take a pen. I've started using a safety pen because all the straight pens keep getting lost in my studio and I'm scared I'm going to step on them. And I just put it very lightly in the, the little spray hole. And I don't really push down too much. I'm more just kind of wiggling around. And then I'll come back and wipe it with my baby wipe. And sometimes that works, but this one... I think this one's going to have to be soaked. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to have to soak it. So, oh, look. I know what we can do. Here's the other thing I do with my sprays all the time. They make really cool dots. So, we'll do that. Um, any of your sprays that do get clogged, just go ahead and pull your sprayer out. Um, get some hot water out of the sink and just let them soak in there for a while. Um, sometimes you have to do it two or three times if they're really gunked up. Um, and then I did make a video of how I was cleaning them using the clean water. So I'll go ahead and find that and put that up later too. Um, because that does seem to work. Um, it takes a little bit more time, but I think it's probably better if you're not using your sprays every day because I don't, I don't use these every single day. Um, so they do have a tendency that they want to dry. Um, so that's good for now. And what am I going to use it for? Eh, I don't know. I'm sure we'll figure out something. But, you know, it's deli paper. It can be torn up and made into a collage. You know, the one thing I like about deli paper is that because it's transparent. Oh, there's a little bit more spray. Don't want to waste. Even though I didn't pay for it. I'll have to pay for the next set. Um, so the one thing I do like about deli paper is if you have anything you have underneath, it shows through. So like if you have your, a font underneath a, a, a printed page, it shows through. So that's why I, I like to, to have some collage sheets on deli paper as well as just regular white paper. So, so today we got some cool letters done. Who knows where they might pop up. Um, we got some deli paper done. We got this little accidental sheet. And I showed you how to not use your sprays. So, hope you guys have a good day. Turn off the news. Get in your studio. Have some fun. Um, go for a walk. <laughs> Do something. Um, and I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. Have a great day. Happy arting.